Too often, I've let fear hold me back. The fear of being too old, of being too heavy, the fear that I didn't start soon enough and it's too late to start now. It's really easy to talk ourselves out of trying something new or out of trying to change anything about our lives at all. Because even if we're unhappy, sitting in familiar territory can feel less daunting than breaking free of it and exploring the unknown. I started taking adult gymnastics classes just over a month ago. And I was nervous to start this. I was scared. I thought I was too heavy. I thought I still was too big, that I needed to lose more weight. And I thought I was too old. Gymnastics just seemed like a sport to me that you have to start when you're a small, teeny tiny baby in order to build up the flexibility, the mobility, and the strength that's necessary. So even though I'm a self-proclaimed fitness enthusiast and I've managed to make drastic changes to my lifestyle and fitness habits, I was still really intimidated to go to this gym. I can't tell y'all how fun that class was. Oh my God. Definitely keeping up with tumbling. Oh, I'm so excited for this journey. I've always wanted to do gymnastics classes. Look at me, 30 year old woman learning how to do a cartwheel. I was hesitant to sign up to go to this class at this adult gymnastics gym. I was definitely experiencing some gym intimidation and struggling with feeling like I wasn't worthy to be in this place. I think many of us as we get older can sometimes think like it's too late for me. Too late to start this, it's too late for me to change. I'm stuck in my ways. I've been doing it this long for so many years. I can't change now. And that's just not true. Whether it's weight loss, whether it's joining gymnastics or joining some other sport, like it's never too late to start. Oh my gosh, I felt so awkward in the gym trying to do this. <laughs> Like I just knew I was embarrassing myself. I was so happy that I finally was feeling more comfortable upside down and doing the tumbling classes and the rolling and stuff helped me to feel more comfortable rolling around and falling. So I finally felt more comfortable to actually attempt to kick up, but I don't know what I'm doing. And honestly, if you're just watching closely, I'm really just body slamming myself into this wall. Like, <laughs> I swear, the first couple times I did it, people would stare like, what the heck is she doing? Why is she throwing herself up against the wall? <laughs> but practice makes improvement, and that's all I'm trying to do is to improve. It's so dark. Today, we are headed to the gymnastics gym. It's so another tumbling class. And I kind of want to take the, the calisthenics class next time, but I'm really happy to do tumbling. Um, I'm really trying to practice to get my handstand work done. I just want to, like, I feel like it's so simple to kick up against the wall. I'm overthinking it. I'm still too scared. And I'm just using too much power. Anyway, another tumbling day. Then I'll go to the gym after for cardio and handstand work. Over the past month that I've been taking these classes, I just take them once a week and I do my own practices at home and at the gym. But over this past month, I've seen so much improvement. And even just looking at me at this class versus the first class, like being upside down, I'm so much more comfortable. I'm not closing my eyes when I'm upside down or squinting or screaming. <laughs> like, it has just been so much fun and I'm so happy I challenged myself in this way and I'm so excited to just continue going forward. The class was so good and I'm feeling so much more confident. I asked the teacher at the end, like if he think I should do another level one or do 1.5. He said to do one more level one and then 1.5. So we're doing good, feeling good, progress. <laughs> Dr. Jim, who just got here, 
I just want to do cardio, maybe pull up work, but I'll try it with the bands. One of you guys commented and said it's easier with like resistance bands, which I think might be true. Sorry, I don't like filming in the dressing room. There's no one in this area, but still. And I want to I want to do the handstands because that last tumbling class, like I got it, I got it down, and I just want to get it down on my own. What's crazy is I've been doing so much handstand work that my lats are actually kind of sore in my shoulders, my upper body. But I just want to get this down, nail it, know that I have it, so I can move to a different progression. Okay, let me get out of here. for now <laughs> I think I need to take a handstand class specifically Sorry, minutes, yeah. oh yeah I'm leaving thank you gym's closing <laughs> and yeah at my other gym the gymnastics gym they offer handstand only classes but I didn't think I was good enough to do it but that might be the next step <laughs> been vlogging this workout today did a bunch of cardio some jump rope and a lot of stretching I still haven't figured out <laughs> how to use the little machine the massage gun thing here and I've been in here doing some handstand work I was gonna practice out there at the wall because it's just better lit but no one's in this class empty classroom and it's also nice being in here practicing knowing that no one's watching you. <laughs> Let me put this at the bottom one, sorry. Don't mean to be spinning and make you sick. I'm trying to put the legs on my, on the camera. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> But signing up for this class has been the best thing I've done in my life. I only regret not signing up sooner. I used to always want to do gymnastics. I was a kid wanting to do gymnastics. And when puberty hit, which for me was like 11 or 12, it came kind of early. That's when like my parents had me stop doing a lot of physical things. They didn't want me to play basketball anymore with my brothers and all their male friends. But yeah, I was someone who just didn't grow up playing sports 
and not having that experience being in that kind of social active physical environment and of course it wasn't until i started getting involved in the gym getting involved in weightlifting powerlifting like really falling in love with fitness and finding myself and my identity in that, that I finally now have gotten the courage to step into other areas as well. It's just been so much fun and I just wanna encourage you, if there's something you're afraid to step into that you've always wanted to but you feel like you're too old or it's too late, it never is. I know it's easy to think, oh, I should have did it when I was you know, in my teens or in my 20s and that would have been the best time. I would have been in the best shape. But right now, what's the point of starting? What's the point of starting? And you can get stuck in this negative cycle and this negative mindset where you're just grieving the life you feel like you could have had, but you're still living life now. And if you don't start now, then in 10 years and five years, you're just gonna be grieving this period currently. So just focus on today. Don't focus on what you could have done or who you could have been in the past. Focus on who you are right now in this moment and who you want to be in the future and do the things that you want to do. Take the classes you want to take, make the changes that you want to make. I can't tell y'all how much fun I have in this class and how much my inner child is just filled with joy and how much adult Ashley is just proud of herself for putting herself out there and being that go-getter. And honestly, this year, once I master these handstands, once I master a backflip, tuck and roll, and I'm doing my little tricks, I'm gonna be more proud of myself. <laughs> like, it gives me so much joy. And I think it's just because I know I'm pursuing something and living out a dream that I've always had. And I want the same for you. I want the same for you. <laughs>